got a 1970 70 these come in the Ford pickup trucks it's a Ford radio Philco uh, 68 through 72 could have them this one's going in a 1970 and we've completely redone the case repolished the face the push buttons and all and done a basic Aurora design conversion uh, we took his original speaker, we mounted a DVC in the original bracket for you. It's a five by seven, just like the one you got. Uh, radio's got AM and FM stereo. Uh, four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got a pre-out on it if you want to add a sub. I think all he's going to run is one speaker in the truck. It's a uh, auxiliary in, which is automatic. It will scan your stations and has voice ID, which is real neat. Uh, right now you're on FM. You've got a little operating LED down here. It changes multiple colors depending on what the radio is doing. And a stereo LED, an amber. That way it lights up when you find a stereo channel. Got all your push buttons, presets working like they normally do. Murphy's for a Volt. Won't go to AM radio, you just simply turn the unit off and right back on. Changes the red, that's 650 here in Nashville. Treble and bass like you've always had. Off and right back, takes you right back to FM stereo. These always sound better when you get them in the dash. Right now they're a little tinny on the outside. Uh, the first thing we want to do is put it in scanning mode. So if you're going down the road, you can let it find you a station while you're going down the road. All you do is take the tuning knob and turn it up twice. Scanning for stations. Now it's going to start scanning for stations without the needle moving. Show you how to lock on station to even find it if you'd like to preset it. We're going to let it run a few stations. Cook, well, that's a pretty good ways away from here. And this little light's kind of pulsating. That means you're scanning. Say you like that station there, all you do is turn it once. Station hold. She'll lock on it, or it'll go quiet till you find it. There it is. Pull out a preset, you got Nashville. Now, like to know where you're at because you got an AM radio, you're on FM, take the volume knob, turn it up three times. About 56, One, two, that's a little different. FM 91.7. Later on tonight, you'll do all this on AM and FM. Uh, voice ID scanning. 93.9 W23OBX. Columbia 95.3 W237DY. Chestnut Ridge, Shelbyville. And 94.7. W234CD Hollywood, Columbia. I pull out of Pittsburgh, rolling down the Eastern Sea. I got a diesel wrapped up, she's running like never before. Now we're going to show you a lot of people's got new phones. Won't be long, we'll all have new phones. And they don't have a uh, headphone out jack. We got an auxiliary in this, a two piece cable you'll be getting with the radio, one that you can hide in the car. And uh, you can plug this into an iPod, satellite radio, XM radio, CD changers, whatever you want to put on it. Or you can actually get one of these off eBay or your phone store and use your new phone. Plug this in here. Plug it in there. I hit the volume. Now this also gives you a charging port, which is real neat. Bring your phone up on your music. Hit play. There we go. So now a little light's gone to green, you're on auxiliary in. She's 
sounds pretty good with one speaker. That's a, that's a DVC two channel. Your uh, speaker wires are already connected to your harness. All you gotta do is plug them in. You can't mess it up. One ends in one channel, one ends the other channel. Anytime you get ready to go back to radio, you got a device on it, a little green light, just turn it off. And if you don't touch the radio, in 20 seconds, it'll automatically go back to where you had it. You don't even have to unplug it. Uh, if you want to shorten that 20 seconds, during that time, turn it off and back on like you cycle from AM and FM. We're going to let it automatically switch back so we know everything's right in it. There we go. So that's your 19, it's going down to 1970 F100. AM radio with a basic Aurora design in it. These are your back knobs, you said you needed them. I got them all polished up, ready to go. And that's your speaker. And uh, thank you for letting me do it.